Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team, one value, in motion. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. Today, join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team, one value, in motion.
Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. Today, join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team, one value, in motion. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change.
active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team, one value, in motion. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. State University Marching Band. A lot of SUVs, smoke coming from the grill, but it is the big day for football, and boy, teams like to win their homecoming. Today, Valley State will be taking on the Eagles of North Carolina University of Central. They flew it here, and they're two and two on the season. Valley State looking for its first win of the season. 0 and three on the season again. The Eagles are two and two on this season. Could be a tough battle for Valley State, but when you talk to Coach Dancy, and as he says, he's happy with the way his team is coming over the past three ball games. Last week against Southern, Southern won the football game, 38 to 25. Uh, good running back in Caleb Johnson, but asked Coach about his receivers touching the football, and he said they were happy, just as he was happy to see that addition to the football team. Here's Coach Dancy about the uh, game last week and about the ball game today. Any thoughts on his team?
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we would like to welcome you. today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team. One value. In motion. For today's game from Mississippi Valley will be number one, Jelani Eatham, and number six, Keontae Daniel, number 68, number 92, Jerry Garner. Welcome back. The captains are coming out here for Mrs. Tippy Valley State. As you see. And number 68, Azari, Jonathan Azari. They also, now most of them are getting ready to take the field as you look at the Devil Dan's out of state. They're going to come through the inflatable from our right to our left. You listen to Coach Dancy. They're moments away from the kickoff. <laughs> Who's gonna call Phil? I'm gonna pitch, alright? He calls Phil in his head. Who wanted to talk? Who wanted to talk? Who wanted to talk?
Hit with the football first team team from their own 25 yard line. Quarterback Daniels dropped fires one down the middle deep and it is incomplete. Going deep down the field to his wide receiver. Well, they're going to try to open it with a big play. The intended target for the Eagles that time right down the middle of the field was Ryan McDaniels and he had some good numbers here. And that time they're going to go right back this time in the pistol formation again. Two receivers right and then one left. Gonna put his back on his right side this time. Play action. They're gonna run it. No, he's go actually gonna give it to him. He's gonna try to run it up. And Valley State defense is gonna get right there. Matt Gang is the quarterback. He'll give it to uh, the running back and down to the power. Valley State is gonna make the stop. And it's a second down and about eight yards to go. For the Eagles, second and eight. For the Eagles, ball is on the left hash. Spotted right there at the 27 yard line. Three receivers right, two left. Action flow from left to right. Box to count, Richards. They're all going to look wearing the all white uniforms with the maroon helmets. The corner is going to tighten up on the wide receivers here before the snap. Goes to the left, legs going to come out, he's going to run it up. Richards is going to break a tackle to the outside. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, and brought down at the 28-yard line. And down the field for Valley State to bring him down will be gladness. I feel gladness, but we have a flag back here. Just about Josh at the line of scrimmage. Oh, wow, offsides on the defense. Offsides on misses to the Valley. So Richards that time with that big run, and it is going to stand. Ball is on balance, 33 yard line. First team 10 from that point for Richards and the Eagles. Two receivers crop right to the right side of the formation, one left. Richards takes a snap, lifts it out right side to his running back. He's going to break some tackles to the 30. Deep in and fall down, he's going to be finally bumped out of bounds. Over on the near side, got to stay corner got there, finally brought him out of bounds. That was Kim, Kim T. Daniels on the hit, on the carry, was Devin Smith. And they're right back to the line of scrimmage. Hands it off and dances, nothing going on here. That time the linebacker for Dallas State got there, brought him down on the hit for Dallas State. Young Reed was able to get there and bring the ball, oh, carry it down. McDaniels is on the carry. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. Two receivers left, one right. Ball near the right half. Action flows from left to right. Box to count. Takes it, hands it off. He has a big hole. He's going to break through there and finally brought down to the five-yard line. Again, on the run with Smith. Right the middle, and boy, that quick to the line of scrimmage. Gonna spot that ball right down, down on the five-yard line. First and goal to go. Again, gonna try to run this ball right up the middle to McDaniels. Not much going on on that one. Second down and goal to go. 
Florida's in time to five at about the three yard line. They move the ball right down the field quickly. Motion from left to right by the wide receiver. Chaplin takes it, hands it off. Back gets it. He's going to be wrestled down. Gave it to Isaiah Todd. Todd is hit and stopped right there. Looks like about the four yard line. Taught out of the football game. We're going to move back in. Latria Collier, the 5'10", 185 pound redshirt sophomore from Bluefield, West Virginia is in. They get a tight end in, in the place of a wide receiver. I say tight end. And that's who it is, Kyle Morgan, 6'2", 240, freshman from Hollis Spring, North Carolina. Two receivers, wide right, Collier on the left side of the formation. Shotgun snap for Daniels, he takes it. And he hands it off. Todd is going to be wrestled, but the car you're going to be wrestled down. Coming in to make that hit for the other was uh, Jalen Bale. 5'11", 280 sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, in on the hit. Boy, Jack, that time they moved the ball down field. Better State defense tightened up on him. Better defense tightened up once they got in the red zone. Come on for. A 20, about a 19 yard field goal, 20 yard field goal, we call it. Attempt. Line is set. Ball is back. Kick is up. And it is good. The field goal is good. A 20 yard field goal. So they drove down on their first drive and got their field goal with 10 minutes and 38 seconds to play in their first quarter. And we will step aside and we'll come back. You're listening to Valley State. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. defense as Joshua said tighten up and uh, stop him so they will come away with three points three nothing score the Eagles leading Mississippi Valley State and gonna kick it off from the 35 from left to right there's the third not very deep and running under it I believe there's gonna be Johnson Donald Johnson the third comes across the 20 25 30 and he's out of bounds at the 30 yard line and Josh here is Valley State offense going to come on. Valley State today dressed out in the uh, green tops, white numbers, white bottom. The numbers are trimmed in red. Again, with the green helmets with the red stripe right down the middle with some green trim on it. So they'll get this football first down in 10, operating from uh, their own 31-yard line. Some more action last week just from the offense. Right. And, and the offense needs to do just like uh, North Carolina Central did, move the ball on down the field and, and scope. Ball is on the right hash. Quarterback in the shotgun. Takes it, hands it off, and he's going to slip down. That time, uh, Jelani Easton gave the football to Caleb Johnson. Josh, and you know Johnson can run that football. He's oh, yeah, down he there. He's going to lose the two yards, perhaps, on the play. As he tried to cut back in. Not a lot of rain, a little bit of rain. You're going to lose two yards on that. Second down and 12 for Valley from their own 28-yard line. Easton takes a snap, pitches out to Caleb Johnson to the 30, brought down at the 31-yard line, got back to the original line of scrimmage, coming over to make the hit and knocking down on the play for the Eagles. Well, just... Steven Stokes, the 5'11", 170-pound senior from Baltimore, Maryland, on the hit. That's bring up a third down. Three zip score, Eagles leading. Third down for Dallas State, possession play. Third and 10 from the 31. 
Make it back field for receivers right in one left. There's a snap, look in across the middle. The catch is made and will it be enough for the first down is the question as uh, Travis Murphy was on the catch. Murphy listed as the quarterback, Josh. Gonna be short on this though by about a couple of yards. And Dallas State offense looked to the side. Are they gonna go for it? They're not gonna chance that, Josh. They're gonna no. come out of the ball game. It's a little too early for that. The game just started. And coming on the kick football away is Orlando Fernandez. He's going to be keeping his ball from right to left. He's standing right back inside his 25-yard line. The return man for the Eagles instead of backing up. No pressure. Kick is up. Nice kick. Nice. And running on that is uh, Cottington. Cottington is what he's doing. Get stopped back there at the 12-yard line. Good kick. Hanging kick. Gave the coverage time just to get there. Yeah. That's going to put him back inside the 15 minutes. Outstanding the tackle there, huh? Yeah. Way to bring him to the ground. Yeah. And that's what's important. You can't, you can't tag him, Josh. You got to put no. him on the ground. No. And the Eagles with their second possession leading down the state by a score of 3 0, 8 30 by the play. First quarter here. Davius Richards, quarterback, 6'3, 200 pound. Sophomore from Bale Glade, Florida. Getting the shotgun back on his left side. Two receivers left and one right. Three play action, looking across the middle, incomplete. And incompleted pass. Noah Ellison was the intended target boy, Josh. He, he thought the corner was on him a little too soon there. Uh, Fish right there didn't see it. Say, well, Morgan, uh, William Morgan was not on him too soon. And that ball fell to the turf, second down and 10 from the 12-yard line to the Eagles before Josh, they like to run them back in and out of the ballgame. Oh, yeah, I thought it was a good defense play. As you're talking, checking out, checking in is Latrell Collier, a 5'10 sophomore, will be set up on the left side of Richard. Two receivers left and one right. Here's a pitch this time, going around the left side. He turns it up, has a first down, and more. Actually, there was Jordan Freeman on the run, 5'9", 195, Richard Senior from Charlotte, North Carolina. Granger High School, another pick up the first down. He has some speed. Yes, he did. And get ball to the outside and picks up the first down for the Eagles. First down and 10 for the Eagles from their own 23-yard line. Ball on the left hash. Richards puts the tight end in motion from left to right. You're set up on the right side of the formation. Quick pitch right side, and the catch is made for a short game. On the tackle for Valley State was William Morgan again, the defensive back. Well, he's playing both sides. Oh, yeah. And that time on the catch, the wide receiver was Tyler Barnes, 6'4", 210 tall. Second down coming up for the Eagles from their own 26-yard line. This time they're going to the pistol formation. Richard would have said Jordan Freeman directly behind him. Two receivers fit wide to the wide side of the field, one short side left. Walks the count, takes the snap, turns, play action, rolls left, and he's going to get hit and sacked. Nice play by none other than well-known for Mississippi Valley State, Jerry Garner, Josh. Oh, got yeah. that linebacker. And just to tell you what, with his mindset, he went there, he reached a little high for a minute there right. and slipped his hand down yeah. uh, to, to avoid the face mask. But when he came up that, uh, that defensive end, Josh, real fast. Yes, he did. Big loss on the play. Looks like about 10 yards loss on the play. Back inside the 10 to about the nine and a half yard line. Third and very long. You call it third and 19 for the Eagles. You don't mind putting that ball in the air. They probably will here. They need to get to the 33 yard line for the first 10 team. Ball is spotted down there at the 14 yard line. Back paddles looking. Stab Sibley lost the pressure. Pitches to the right side. To the back of the backfield. He puts a move on, but he'll get up to the 25 yard line. That was Jordan Freeman out of the backfield. Had a couple of wrenches to put him on the ground. So, Valley State defense will hold, and the Eagles will come on and punt this football away. Going back deep to receive it for Valley State is Jarius Clayton, a wide receiver. Return this punt. He returns the punt. Correction. Donald Johnson, the third. And eight. Taking the kickoff people. So let's see if Valley State get good field position here. Oh, yeah. He's standing back again inside. Outstanding play by defense. Oh, yes. Got back there, Johnson. That's been the question that 
folks can ask some questions to. They'll answer that time. The kick is up, tumbles in over in. Clayton calls for the pack catch as he runs up and calls for the pack catch across the 40 to 43 yard line. Got to stay trailing in the football game by a score of 3 0. 544 to play in the first half. This is the Valley State Football on G. Will Live Radio. Thank you for tuning in to us here on a cloudy day here in the Delta. Sun is peeking through the cloud every now and then. Homecoming. Josh, no doubt about it. To many of the folks that come back, the game is secondary, Josh. Oh, yeah. Hey, look across the canvas here. Yeah, Primary yeah, to the football players, though. They, they, really, uh, they really celebrate. First and 10 for Valley from their own 44 yard line. Easton takes it, hands it off. Here's Caleb Johnson, comes across the 35 to about the 37 yard line. Johnson on the carry. Oh, he's corralled and wrapped up and taken out by Chuck Manning, the defensive lineman. 255 junior from Durham, North Carolina. This is where North Carolina takes from. Second down and seven. Put the pitch right side, catches me, and first down. enough for the first down. Give that one to Ryan McDaniel again. McDaniel, 6'2", Super Junior, correction. First uh, give that catch to Mississippi Valley. Uh, Travis Murphy. Who's again is listed on the roster as a quarterback. Knows a lot about their football move to wide receiver. It is the first team 10 for Valley State from the 46 yard line of the Eagles. Here's the snap, here's the handoff. Caleb Johnson, 40, 35, 30, down the sideline, and knocked down at the 29 yard line. First team 10 for Valley State on the hit downfield was Jawan Hudson. The DP had to get there and bring him down. So he's going, Johnson. Yeah. No, gone, man. First and 10 for Valley State from the Eagles. Looks like about the 18-yard line. Hands it off. Johnson gets it. Gets back to about the line of scrimmage before he's corralled and knocked down. On the tackle for the Eagles to get him was Cole Jones. The defense back in there along with the linebacker also there. Looks like Noah Rainbow Douglas. No gain on the play. Second and 10 from the 18-yard line. 426 to play in this fast moving first quarter. Three, nothing score. Eagles up. Eagles scored on that first possession in this football game. And in the ball game at the back slide is the Darian Williams. Williams gets the call. Two hands on the ball. Brought down again at the 18. Rainbow again. They're on the hit. Just some linebackers, boy, they have a nose for the football, and you can yes, tell indeed. he does. Boy, they, 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 uh, they really come to where the ball is. Third down and 10 for Valley State from the Eagles' 18-yard line. Jelani Eason, grad student here at Valley State, the quarterback, on the pressure, rolls the throw, throws it downfield, incomplete. Baylor did get rid of, of that one and his intended target was uh, Dontavious Porter, and that time Jelani Boy, you can see him now just come to the football field. That division Ian had his hand on his jersey, almost pulled it off of him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get some hip on the sideline to get that jersey back on right, helping him out yeah. is Quincy Ives, the other quarterback. And that'll still come on in attempt a 35 yard field goal to try to tie this football game up. Orlando Fernandez just hit a 40. Two yard a couple of ball games ago. Yeah. Kicking from our right to our left. Line is set. Out just on. The kick is up. It's long enough. It's high enough. And it is no good. Wide right up. Apparently. And I can tell you, you look at Fernandez, Josh. He thought it, it yep, went it through the uprights. It looked good from him. It really did. It sure did. Could not get them. Wow, two of the uprights. And the Eagles will come on and they'll take over. Still holding that three point lead. Three, nothing scored, 325 to play. Good ball moving forward. Valley State did not get to the end zone on that one. Three, nothing scored. Eagles up, 325 to play. Rich is back on the field. He'll sit out. Five receivers. Now he's going to put it back in the backs. Out. Boy, they have a crop of backs. This is uh, Jamal Curry Elliott. And he'll give that football to him on the right side. He'll get across the 20 on a first and 10 carry from the 20 yard line. Dallas State defense did it. Stop him after he picked up about two yards on the play. Second down and eight from the 22 yard line. 
for the Eagles of North Carolina Central University. They're two and two on the season. Beat Alcorn in the opening game of the 2021 football season. Richards has Elliott on his right here with a hard count. Three receivers across left, one right on the pressure, and he's going to dump that one off. Felt a lot of pressure coming at him. A lot of pressure coming in. He had no choice then. He had to dump that one off real fast. And that was Antoine Howard, the 6'6", 5 red shirt sophomore from Cincinnati, Ohio, Josh. That was too much coming in. He dumped that yeah, football off. Yeah, he was bearing down on Third down and eight. Possession play here for the Eagles of North Carolina Central. Third and eight from the 22-yard line. 2.43 to play. First quarter, three-nothing score, Eagles up. Back on the right side, three receivers left, one right, drops the pass, steps up, looking, throws it downfield, call for the first down, the 48-yard line of the Eagles to maybe the 41-yard line. That time on the catch downfield was Ryan McDaniels, the wide receiver, 6'2", 215 senior from Sugarland, Texas, on the hit near right back to the line of scrimmage, first 10-10 team, team for the Eagles from their own 41-yard line. Quick snap, and there's the handoff. He'll get into the pile, and he'll be stopped there. And he got there About two yards. and was hit. Two-yard pickup for Elliott. And it's second down in eight from the 43-yard line. Drops the pass from the pocket, looking, has time. Looking, rolls right, and throws it to the wide receiver. Elliott, who makes the catch and still on his feet. Flag is coming up and thrown to the ground. He'll get down inside of the 25 to the 24-yard line before he's finally hauled down on the play. In on the tackle for Valley State with Keontae Daniels. But let's see what's going on here. It appears to be a holding against North Carolina City. That's exactly what it is. It is a hold. Going to bring that one back. And it's Josh, though, it's still going to be a first down, yeah, it's though. it's still going to be a first down. Yeah. Yeah. And put the football right where he caught it at the 41-yard line. Make right. the 39-yard line. First 10, 10 from the 39 for the Eagles of North Carolina Central. Two receivers right. Defense make that a tight end on the right side, too. This time, Richards would go in the pistol formation as he's directing traffic along the line of scrimmage. Walks the count, takes the snap, quick turn, hands it off, and the good running back to the outside is going to be pushed out of bounds over on the right side. Collier got them down a quick opening. That they closed it down, but not before he picked up their first down. Move the football down field to Valley's 26-yard line, first and 10 from that spot. Ball right hash, action flow from right to left. Collier again behind, which the quarterback. Two receivers left and none on the right side. Play action this time. Richard steps, throws it downfield, and it is caught, I do believe, for the touchdown. Wow. Nice dive and catch that time by Ryan McDaniels. Boy, he that ball up there and just put it up there just enough. McDaniel had to stretch out there to get that catch. Oh, he really went and got that one. Well, he did. I thought so it was way over his head. Yeah. First quarter action. Touchdown, 30 net yard, touchdown, catch. Here comes the point after touchdown. Score is 9-0, 59 seconds to play in quarter one. And he'll be kicking from the hold of Micaiah Stone. Off this right arm, ball is down, kick is up, and it is through. Score. The Eagles of North Carolina Central leading Mississippi Valley State by score.
effective today. Seconds to play. Going to keep the football off to Valley State. Back deep to turn the kick. Depending on which side those two will be Jacory Rankin. This side went 4 14. The fourth side is uh, Donald Johnson, the third. Joshua Valley needs to answer here. Oh, yeah. They, we, we need to put some points on the ball. We don't, you don't want to get too far behind. Here comes your approach. Now the trot is the right foot kick. End of end, not very deep. Johnson runs on it at the 16 yard line out to the 20, 25. Hit. Wow. And at the 30. One yard line for a little extra little activity going on on the other side of the football field, too, even out of bounds. Just blocking down because the fish right there on it as he saw uh, Caius Lewis tackle down a coverage man for the Eagles, but no problem with that. Here's uh, Valley State down by 10, 10 nothing. Get the two seconds to play. First and 10 for Valley from their own 30 yard line. Moore get to the football game for Valley State in the backfield. Two receivers left and one right. Eason blocks the count. The quarterback snapped to his right. He quickly hands it off over the right side, trying to get to the outside. Correction was uh, Jacoby Thomas for Valley State. Not more, but Thomas got the carry. Thomas picks up one yard on the play. Move the football up to the 31 yard line. Second down, nine yards go from the 31. Now, Valley, here's the snap back with the pitch first side. Catches made, trying to put a move down. He'll pick up two yards on the play and spunt down out of bounds. Had two defenders over there to wrestle him down on the play. Again, on the catch for Valley State was Travis Murphy. Seven seconds. Need a first seconds. down, huh? And they have tried to get that when we come back because right now the first quarter is going to run to a close oh, yeah. with Valley State trailing the football game by a score of 10 to nothing. North Carolina Central leading Mississippi Valley State. We'll be a break. we come back. This is Valley State football on G Wood Live Radio. SU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win. By a score of 10-0. Now let's do the football. First team 10 from their own 34-yard line. Correction third and six. It's a pitch down the right side on long pass, and it is incomplete. The there and it is. There it is. They try to go to Jerry's Clay. Way down around the 25 yard line. Just when it, talking about throwing a long pass, you can have Clayton out there probably wanted to stretch the defense a lot. Also, uh, Malik Myers, he'll do it. No pass thrown in his direction, but however, went to Jerry's Clay. He can catch the football. That right. time had to go to effort. Might would have pulled it in. But it was a pass interference on that, and Valley State will get the football. First and 10. And Valley had the ball on the 34 yard line. They're going to mark 15 yards off, 5 10. 5 10. They'll probably get the football somewhere around mid, close to midfield. Yeah. Up. They're getting it at the 49 yard line. The first team team for Valley State from their own 49 yard line going from left to right ball on the right hash. Two receivers left and one right. 
Just getting the second quarter underway. 10-3 score. Eastern started last week, starting this week. Hands the football off to Caleb Johnson. Johnson wanted to go to the middle, could not scoot to the left side, could not get anything there either. And that time, he's still pushing, a little upset. Had a couple of eagles to get around him and uh, didn't put him on the ground, but did stop progress of their play. First to get there was uh, Stephen Stokes, 5'11", 170. He did get enough surge on that to pick up two yards on the play. And it is a second down and eight for Valley from the 49-yard line of the Eagles with a four-man front for the Eagles. And he fakes it, Eastern does, turns up, 45, 40, out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Quarterback keeper on that for Mississippi Valley State and running him out of bounds. First down. Was Cole Williams, the linebacker, 6'3", 210, red shirt, sophomore from Laurel, Maryland, had to catch up with him and run him down. But not before, as you said, Josh, he picks up the first down for Valley State in the Eagles territory. He and ran over the highway patrolman that time, huh? Highway patrolman, he got to take the he got to take the, the hit because he's trying to protect Coach Dancy. Right. Here's a pitch to Caleb Johnson. Johnson wanted to go left. He could not come back right, and he's going to be stopped. He might lose a yard on the play. On the hit was uh, Jawan Hudson. Josh, he wanted to go left. But, right. But that hole was totally closed up. He came out and did a 360 spin, uh, but he was still stopped by Hudson. Don't lose a yard on the play, maybe a yard and a half. The second down, and we call it nine. Ball is the Eagles, 33 and a half, half yard line. Second and nine from the 33 yard line. Given a number of plays going to the football game, she's Coach Titan now on the football field as well in the sideline on the coaching staff. Second and nine. Here's this Eastern quick pitch for a side. And can't get anything there. Jacoby Rankins with it. Make the catch, tried to make the move, and then Josh looked as if yeah, he, he might have slipped as well. He did slip. Yeah, he tried to make a cut and slip. He lost a yard on the play. Third yeah. down and 11 for Valley State. Wrong direction right now. Valley State trailing by a score of 10 nothing. 12 minutes and 51 seconds to play in quarter two here at Rice Tottenham Stadium. 10 nothing score. Eagles leading. Third down and 11 for Valley State from the Eagles. 39-yard line. Two receivers right and one left. Motion from left to right by Caleb Johnson. Looking to Johnson, can't go. Throws it, he was hit. Eason was hit. That time coming off the right side was uh, Quintez Manfield, Mansfield, 6'2", 290. Josh, I'm not sure if he was touched coming off the right side. I don't think nobody blocked him. He, he came free. And here's Orlando Fernandez back on to punt for Dallas State. Going back deep would be Brandon Currington. The beef is back on the roster to return the punt for the Eagles. Ball is snapped back. A little pressure kick is up. Boys is a beautiful kick. Beautiful kick. And the Currington going to run and away from zone. that one. And get bouncing about a yard into the end zone. So the Eagles will have a uh, pretty good field position here. Instead of trying to run that one back. 12-18 to play. Second quarter action. 10 nothing score. And right now, Josh Valley State could, couldn't get it going on the offensive play, so now you're going to call on the defense. Yeah. To try to keep this keep this team out of the end zone. They scored see, on that first possession. See, can the defense get us a turnover? Yeah. Sometimes your defense had to start the, the uh, action of the team, get the team uh, momentum going. First and 10 for the Eagles from their own 20-yard line. Leading down the state by a score of 10, nothing, 12, 17 to play. Richard back on the left side, two receivers left and one right. Here's a pitch to the right side coming up. With that is Collier. Collier's going to step forward a step or two, and he's going to be hit. I think their first one to get there and bring him down was Dion Reed. Reed was in the area. I think Reed made the initial hit. And also around the tackle was Jerry Garner. Second down and nine yards go from the 21-yard line. A one-yard pickup that time by Carrier, who was on the slightly on the left side of Richard. Two receivers right, one left turn. Gives it to Carrier. He goes to the right side, and a flag is on the play. And not much on that one either. Dallas State right there in the area again to make the hit. Jeremy Garner that time over the, on the left side to bring him down. There's a flag right there. Had a Dallas State player on the ground 
right. a part in that holding. Well, that's, that's a big one, Josh. Ten yards oh, yeah. off against the Eagles, and you want them to go back and right. you know they don't mind throwing that football deep. They'll all do to be a second down in twenty on that ten yard hole. Holding penalty. Gonna put their football back around the nine yard line. Oh, you eleven yard line. You're in second down in 19 yards to go from the 11 yard line. All the Eagles up on Valley State right now by a score of 10 to 3. Two receivers right and one left back on the left side of Richard, the quarterback, who has some good numbers this year. Take the snap, looking left all the way, steps up to buy some time, throws across the middle, catch is made, and the tackle is made also by Valley State. Frederick McGee, 5 11, 180 junior from Leesville, Mississippi. On the hit and the stop. But he picked up about eight yards on the play. So it's a third down and 11 yards to go. Third down and 11 for the Eagles from their own 19 yard line. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Richard with his back on his left side this time. Both hands on his knees. And here's a snap to Richards. He's looking, looking deep left side. He's going to be sacked back at the 10-yard line. Got there and pulled those legs together, Josh, and put him down on the ground. Jerry yes, Bonner, his presence, he missed the first ball game, Josh, a little injured. But, boy, right. he has a huge presence here today. Yes, he is. And, and that's what he does. Get back yep. there. Oh, he yeah. put you on the ground in a heartbeat. Yep. That time he did. And the Eagles are going to come on and pump this football away. Standing near midfield is Jarius Clayton for Valley State. 10 nothing score, 10.05 to play. Second quarter action here on the campus of Valley State. Homecoming it is. He's standing back in his end zone, hit the stoop to get the snap, pops it up, um, and fat catch called by Clayton. He'll take it right there at the 50-yard line. So Valley State 50 yards away from uh, Pater down here by a score of 10 nothing. Again, Josh, we start this drive off with the same coming as we did the other one. We need to get some points on the board here. Down right. by 10. First dance is talking to the officials, trying to get. I see how. Uh -huh. the, uh, and they're trying to get, do some work on the highway patrolman on wow. their hit. The Darian Williams is the back in the backfield with Jelani Eason, two receivers right, one left. William gets the call, finds an opening, gets to the 45-yard line and gets brought down. I tell you what, boy, that was a nice move he put down there. Yes, it was an excellent move. Because he would have been tackled right there and right. caught the football at, uh, handed off to him. And that was Cole Williams out there, the linebacker, six foot tall, 210 red shirt from Laura Mellon to make the hit. Pick up a five yards on the play, second down and five from the Eagles' 45-yard line for the Island State. Hands it off this time, not as fortunate. Going to lose some yards on the play. Gave again to to Darren Williams, and he was gobbled up. Going to put the football back inside the 45 to the 47-yard line. The Island State third down and about seven yards ago, third and seven from the 47-yard line. Oh, the Eagles ball is right between the hash mark, going from left to right. And Eason takes the snap, throws it out in the flat, and the catch is made. Enough for the first down, but the ball is going to come out. Oh, loose football on the field, and who is going to get to that? I think the Eagles are claiming that football. Wow. Eagles will come up with the football. I don't know who punched that football. Uh, I think on the catch for for Valley State was uh, the tight end. I think it was White out there. I think on that catch. And held it, but I think the defense came in and punched the football yeah, out behind. Yeah, he punched him, it Josh, out from behind, yeah. He went forward. Got to protect it all the time. They teach that. All the time. Yeah, Turn over. Two hands on that ball. On Dallas State. Would have been enough of the first down. However, for the Eagles would get the football first and 10 from their own 27-yard line, leading Dallas State by a score of 10 nothing with 8.38 to play here at Rice Tartan Stadium. Here's Dan Richards, which is two receivers left and one right. He put his back on his left side this time. And there's a flag on the play. 
false start against North Carolina Central. And they out of the MEAC beat Alcorn 23-14 in the first ball game back on August 28th. Lost to Marshall 40-14. And uh, beat Winston-Salem State 20-13. Lost to North Carolina a and 37-14. Former Valley State great Coach Washington is the head coach of North Carolina a and Had a stint with the Steelers. He used the handoff first in 15. And it could be maybe one yard pickup on the play for the Eagles. Maybe one as they get a football to look like Devin Smith. Second and 14, you call it. Second and 14 from the 20. Three yard line of the Eagles for the Eagles. Leading Valley State by a score of 10 nothing, 8 14 to play. Richard raises the right leg, stops the ground, throws it, and it is incomplete. Try to go to the 30 yard line. Intended the target on that one was Andrew Smith. Covered on the play for Valley State was Frederick McGee. Ball field incomplete. Third down again and possession play. For the Eagles, third down, 14. The ball is still there at the 27-yard line. Valley State will get Eric Powell on the defensive lineman, 6'3", 240. He's a grad student as well from Coley, California. He is Richard pointing to the right side. Takes the waist high snap, slides to his right, stands in, throws it downfield, catches. Is it? Oh, it's going to be incomplete. The intended target had a big target that time. The tight end, Quentin Chaplin. The tight end, 6'5", 240. Had it for a moment, but Valley State defense did, got that Josh and separated him. Yeah, they the separated football. him from the ball. Good yeah, defense. Good, good tackle. And here's Clayton. Clayton back on to return a punt for Valley State, who's trailing in this football game to the Eagles of North Carolina Central. 10 nothing with 7.54 to play. And again, Valley State get the football back. Take the opportunity in to Valley State football on GWIT Live. Snap back, straight to him, kick is up, and Clayton's going to get back away from that one. He's going to take a bounce, out of bounds, hit there at the 40, about the 40. 40, 40, standing, standing, coming up. Wow, at the 45-yard line. Wow. you take that, Josh. Oh, yeah. Every time. Got to stay first in 10. From, again, their own 45-yard line trailing in the football game by a score of 10 to nothing to North Carolina Central. Two and two on the season. Stacked four receivers right behind the other. Here's the Johnson with the catch. Johnson will pick up one yard on the play to the 46-yard line. Over on the hit was Marvin Reed. You, I've seen players stacked up there, stacked up, which means in a wide receiver slot. One behind the other. I've seen two like that, maybe three, but Valley had four there. And those are set a screen up and get some blocks out here. Yeah. But it did not materialize for Donald Johnson the third. Second down and the nine from the 46 of Valley State. Make it back real quick, pitch right side. And Rankins will make the catch. Jacory Rankins, the 5'9, 185 pound junior, will pick up about five yards on the plate before he's knocked down. In the territory at the 49 yard line of the Eagles. So it's a third down and four from the 49. Quick pitch across the middle, incomplete. Uh, Jacoby Rankin hit him on his right hand, Josh, yeah. and coming across the middle there, yeah. could not that, bring that, that in. That could have been a touchdown there, huh? Boy, had he caught it, he'd have been gone because he's in yeah, full he, stride he's on in that full one. Full stride, nothing in front of him but the goal post. Fernandez is going to come on and pump this football away to the Eagles. Didn't get much out of there. The Eagles will receive the punt, leading Valley State by a score of 10 to nothing with 6 minutes, 47 seconds to play in the second quarter. Brandon Currington. Currington will stand right there in the same spot. He didn't move that kick came right to him at about the 8-yard line. Yeah, right yard line. to him. So he didn't move a step, left or right or backwards or forward. No, he comes straight to him. And that's where the Eagles of North Carolina Central out of the MIAC. And then the second 
in second place in the MEAC in terms of standing. Other teams on their schedule, they have after this ball game, Tennessee Tech, got Morgan State, South Carolina State, Norfolk State, and they'll play Howard and NSC November 20th with Delaware State. The Eagles with the football, first and 10 from their own nine-yard line, leading Dallas State by a score of 10 nothing. six minutes and 39 seconds to play. In the ball game, is Jordan Freeman in the backfield with Richard Turner hands it to Freeman. He goes lateral to the right side, spins. He's going to be hit inside the five, brought down at about the three-yard line. He tried to run lateral, tried to get to the edge. He could not. He was retreating, and he's going to lose some yards on that play back yeah, to about the four-yard line. Yards, huh? Yeah, trying to, he was trying to get back there, trying to get right. to the edge and get an opening, but the defense swarmed him. Right. He couldn't get there and get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he, kept, he kept retreating, going back. Second down, 16 yards to go. Ball is back inside the five at the four-yard line. You talked about a turnover earlier. Oh, yeah. The quarterback and the back. Freeman is into the end zone. Richard was taking the snap in the end zone, as he does. Back pedals to the middle of the end zone, across the middle. Hands his man for about a five-yard pickup. And still going to be sure the first down. That time on the catch was uh, Ryan McDaniels. Got to say defense got them to hold him. Tight end will check out of the football game for the Eagles. The third down and 10 yards to go for the Eagles from the back to the original line of scrimmage, which is the nine-yard line. So it's third and 10 from the nine-yard line. Jordan Freeman, Jerry is mighty white there. He's not doing the ground yet. He's going to put him in motion. Richards dropped the pass, looking got to it. be hit. He got back to about the line of scrimmage before he brought down on the play. Good defense by Jalen Bale, 5'11", 280. Sophomore from Detroit, Michigan. Josh has a nice future here at Dallas State. He's got back Oh, yeah. Here. Yes, indeed. Boy, he brought the pressure. Yeah, he brought the pressure, then. You can see him walking up the track with his helmet off. Boy, he's talking trash. Deserving and so, Josh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not to the opposing team, but he's excited about the play. Right. And to hold the Eagles, which will be kicking the football from middle of their end zone from right to left. Yeah, we should good, good feel for this. 434, the kick is up, end over end. Clayton retreats, comes forward from left to right to the 45, brought down at the 43-yard line. So Dallas State will start this drive in their own territory down by 10. 10, zip, 4.23 to play. And Dallas State gets some points on the board, preferably a touchdown. And they'll mark it down at the 46 for the Delta Devils. Head coach <laughs> Trey Oliver, he's for the Eagles. <coughs> graduate, graduated there in 1998 in his third season. First in team from Dallas State, Eason takes it, hands it off to Caleb Johnson, and Johnson will get right back maybe to the line of scrimmage before he is knocked down on the ground. On the tackle was Chidi Okanye, Okanye, 6'6", 245, Richard Senior from Riverdale, Georgia, Knocked him down on the ground and also helped Dallas State teammates pick him up. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. Ball is spotted at the 44-yard line of the Eagles. And Dallas State option looks into the near side here and get the play they want to run. Three receivers left, one receiver right. There's a snap looking across the middle. Catch is made and thrown for a first down. First Nicole down. Rankins on that catch before he's spun down to the ground. On the hit to bring him down was Matt Stevens, the linebacker, 220 senior from Charlotte, North Carolina, on the hit. But it's first and 10 for Corey Rankins. First and 10 from the 33-yard line of the Eagles, who's leading Dallas State by a score of 10 zip with 315 to play. Here's a handoff. He keeps it, drops his head, and he's gonna be brought down on the play by Matt Stevens. Got there. Take the hand off, kept it, and found himself just for the most part in no man land. Right. On no that one. Nowhere to go. Dirty seating. 
was tackled. Timeout. Timeout on the field. Valley State trailing the Eagles by a score of 10-0. The Valley State is in the Eagles territory at the 33-yard line. They're seeking to get some points on the board as they're trailing in this football game here. With the two in more ways than one. Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. A lone receiver up top on the left side, there's Gregory G. Three receivers wide side right, going from the left to our right. There's the snap, quick pitch, Clay makes the catch for about a five-yard pickup, maybe a four-yard pickup inside the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Third down and six. And the ball is right there at the 34-yard line. Just two down territory here. And G would check out of the football game. No, he'll line up on the right side. He'll swap side with Jacoby Rankin. So Gene again is a long receiver on the right side. Three receivers up top now, left wide side. Takes a snap, does Eason looking, has time, throws it down the field, and the catch is Just made down. by Clayton, and he steps out of bounds. Just I believe. Did they call him out of bounds? I thought he called him touchdown. They're gonna get oh. out of bounds at the four-yard line. I yeah. thought it was closer than that. Yeah. You know, you call you call a touchdown because right. you're that, just that close. Right. But apparently he stepped out of bounds at the mm. five-yard line. Ball is resting on the five-yard five line. Five-yard line. So it's first down and goal to go here. Yep. For Valley State from the five-yard line, down by a score of 10 nothing, 147 to play in quarter one. And here's Caleb Johnson going to lose the yard on that play. As he tried to get to the outside. There on the stop was uh, Chatty Okonye. Kanye, O-K-O-N-Y-A, 66245. Stretched a long frame out and brought Caleb Johnson down. Second and goal from the five. Going right this time, Caleb Johnson going to be hit hard back at the 10-yard line. Wow. Boy, you can see him, his head kind of snap that yeah, time he, as uh, Trayvon Wallace, the defensive back out there, and hit him like a linebacker or something. All right, he unloaded on the game. And he's wow. going to check out deserving of so on this yeah. one. He's, he rocked him on that one. Yeah, he rocked him on that one. He's a little frustrated, too, because he got hit back there. Right. He's going to be all right. Oh, yeah. And the ball is back up. Well, he didn't make the team we thought, but it's going to be spotted down at the eight-yard line. So third down and go to go from the eight-yard line. Wow, got down to what was it? the five-yard five line. Yard, well, I man. thought it was at least the two-yard line. But right, I did too. Whoa. You must have stepped out, Josh, at the two-yard yeah, line. Yeah, had to. And land oh. down the, at the... I'll, Darian Williams on the right side of Eason. Looking right, has some time. Now he's Chase looking right, throws it to the end, out of bounds. He's going to throw this one away. But I still attempted a 31 yard field goal earlier. Couldn't get that one to go. And going to come on, Josh. We said two down territory, but what's right. important right here, though? Yeah, you he put it to this 10 point lead. Yeah, you got to, got to put some points on the boat. Yeah. And Fernandez will come on. 
and attempt a 25-yard field goal. Kick, kicking from the hold of uh, Connor Reagan. Ball is slightly near side here at the center of the field near the right hash. Kicking from left to right. Ball is back. Kick is up. This two is long enough. And good. it is good this time. All Very right. much needed. Very much needed to cut this to a seven-point bug and 10-3 yes, to score 37 seconds. Now, just the 37 seconds sounds very familiar there. Uh, uh, ball game on Monday night, I believe? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah 37 yeah. seconds on the clock? Sure did. For wait, Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers. See, he took it on down the field. Keep field goal one again. But he's not down here today. Oh, no, he ain't <laughs> down here, so we ain't got to worry about that. Let's go. And plus, Dallas State defense been playing well. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. Approach by Fernandez, gonna kick it from the 35, and over in kick, and the Eagles gonna take it from the two-yard line. Coming from right to left. Runs behind one of his players who's going to finally be brought down at the 25-yard line. And this one, the Eagles will start this drive from the 24-yard line with 29 seconds to play. And let's see how Valley State will, will play this. Miak versus Swag. We've seen quite a few teams, Josh, who play teams other than Miak. Old teams and new teams oh, yeah. because yeah. you can't say Swag Miak. You can say Swag and former Miak when you have uh, Bethune Cookman or Florida A&M right. on the team. They have joined the Swag it, now. It doesn't appear they finna kneel down, huh? I know. First and 10 from the 24-yard line. Richards takes it. He's going to get a running play up to the 27-yard line. Did I hear the whistle blow? Yeah. Stop it. Isaiah Todd was the ball carrier there. Oh, they called time out. That's yeah. why I blow. Mm -hmm. Push the football up to the 27 yard line. Uh, I'm sure North Carolina. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Yeah, give me a seat on Thursday night. Jackson is off and all point is off today. Right. Second down and seven for the Eagles of North Carolina Central from the own 27-yard line. Play action by Richard. Got him. And he's going to throw this one to the first side, but it's going to be, he's going to be out of bounds. He caught it out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. Hmm. Like this, and he didn't catch it. Yeah, that's the, he was out of bounds, apparently, when he got oh, the ball. Man. But I tell you, a good pressure that time from his defense. He yeah, really did a hand yeah. on quarterback Richard. Yeah, they had a hand all on him. Yeah. About to bring him down, he's trying to, I thought he was throwing it away. I did too. 14 seconds to play in the first half. 10-3 score. North Carolina Central Eagles lead, leading the Delta Devils here on Mississippi Valley State at Rice Town Stadium and homecoming. Here's a handoff. He's going to juke moving your lead one. Would be tackler. But can't get away from Schweiner. Three seconds left. Swainer brought him down. And they're going to call a timeout. That's going to stretch this thing. They're going to call a timeout. Wow. Jeff, you call a timeout with three seconds left. I, I, I would think you only have one thing in mind, to throw the thing deep. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's the only thing I would see, too. Mm -hmm. There's no need to call now. 
a timeout just to run the ball. And you're gonna see, you'll see exactly how that's gonna play, play out. You're tuned to Valley State Football here on G World Live Radio. And here's how you can listen. In Greenwood on 87.9 FM, 89.3 FM. Online at www.gwillive.com. And you can listen to my phone by simply dialing 641-741-0818. And also you can download the free G World Live app. Josh, I think the Valley State defense is thinking the same thing. They had one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, five, six players back here in deep coverage. Right. Look, looking for a pass. Yeah. They changed the clock to five, from three seconds to five seconds. They are, they really only have, they really, we call it three on the line of scrimmage. They're yeah. all standing up on the defense there. Uh, false start. Like false start or false start? False start. False start. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. False start. Give me a five yard mark off against the Eagles of North Carolina Central. All white uniforms today. And maroon helmets, silver numbers or gray numbers on white jerseys. First and 15 for the Eagles from their own 19 yard line. They had to snap back, looking towards the fourth side, and it is incomplete. Wow, boy. No, it was caught. It was caught. Going for that one, though, Josh, I thought trying to pick it off was William Morgan. Yes, he did. That's going Boy, to he, he was trying to tie that one, huh? Yeah, not there. And they called another timeout, Josh. Everybody, I thought the Boy, clock did go off. It did go off. Uh-huh. But apparently some time was on the clock. Wow. It has been no more than one second. Mm. I don't so, understand what they're trying to do here. Yeah. All the, the Valley State players, they were headed to... Devils then, yeah. Yeah. And North Carolina players, they knew on the first side like, none of their players moved. Mm -hmm. And they knew that a timeout was coming up. And there's gonna be a timeout. And how much time are they gonna put back on this clock? They're leading Dallas State by still still ten got, three. They still got zero on it. Can't be no more than what a second or two? Can't be no more because one more five seven. They still have zero on it. Coach Dancer, in the previous case they're not like that. Yeah, the one second. One second. Uh, they put one, one second up. One second. And the ball is it's going to be second and about eight. Second and eight. Thank you. For the Eagles from their own 37 yard line. Mm -hmm. Here's the snap. Back to pass. Looking. Wants to go deep. Clock is running out this time. And intercepted. Picked off by Dallas State. Gone. And then trying to come back down gone. the field. He gone, huh? Is he going he to gone. Make it? Touchdown. Bomb Swainer brought it back on a pickoff and took it all the way to the end zone for the score. Bomb Swainer picked that one off. Josh, no flags on the field. No. Oh, let's see here. We see a flag. This is probably going to be celebrating. That's though. celebrating, though. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that won't hurt me. They took a big gamble, Josh. Yeah, they did. And it cost them. It cost them big. Cost them seven points. Well, we guess. Let's see. I didn't see a flag, though, until they got in. Let's see what's going to take place on here. Yeah. This is going to be interesting, I tell you. Interesting, I tell you. Bomb Swain to pick it off. And oh, took yeah. It all the way back in. Kemp. It's on the boat. <laughs> we got nine up there. We waiting on the extra point to make it 10. All right. Yeah, good. touchdown good. Here comes the PAT, Josh. Opportunity to tie this ball game up. Yep. And uh, Bomb Swinder, you know, timed it real yep. well, yep. just as it was a play yep. opposite of the first play when a valid cornerback went for it and came up short. And this time, Bomb Swinder went for it, got it just in time. But it was not only the interception, Josh, it was also the effort after the interception. To get in the end zone. Yes. He fought there and got there. Yeah. And going for the PAT. Fernandez, will he kicking? He steps back slightly to his left. The kick is up. Good. And it is good. Josh, we have a tie ball tie game. Tie ball here. game. 
And what a play that was. You know, Bella State what got going play. into the locker room with, with the momentum the big, on that. With nothing but momentum. And we will break. We'll come back. We're at the half with the score all knotted up at 10. 10. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to one goal, one team, one value, in motion. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. Also, Mississippi Valley State would like to give a big thanks to the family and friends of the late Dr. Nathaniel Beauclair III for their gift of $64,000 to the Nathaniel Beauclair III Endowed Scholarship Fund. Nathaniel was a 1980 alumnus of MBSU. Mississippi Valley also would like to thank the MBSU Alum National Alumni Association Incorporated for its contribution of $122,565 for their student scholarship athletic and general support to the university. Thank you, National Alumni Association, for your investment and ongoing commitment to the Valley and its students. Mississippi Valley State Athletic Department and the V-Club is given the challenge to help install turf on the field here at Rice Totten Stadium as part of the Toilet Subway Project. Today, Stephen Thompson would like to make his commitment by presenting a check for $10,000 for the Touchdown for Turf campaign. Let's give him a great big Mississippi Valley round of applause. Mississippi Valley State University Royal Court 2021 and 2022 presenting today's Royal Court. Eighth President of Mississippi Valley State, Dr. Gerald Briggs Sr. and Vice President for the Division of Enrollment Management and Student Affairs, Dr. Thomas Calhoun. Student leaders, 
Chaplin, Rafaelia Byrne, Senior Engineering Technology Major from Radcliffe, Kentucky. She's the daughter of Trina Johnson. Your treasurer is Je Jeremy Evans, Jr., a Junior Engineering Technology Major from Beldona, Mississippi. He's the son of Kathy Williams and Carl Evans. Secretary, Jasmine Redmond, a senior environmental health agent, major of Isola, Mississippi. She's the daughter of Lee and Dosha Redmond. Vice President, Jalen R. Smith, a senior mass communication and speech communication major from Greenwood, Mississippi. She's the daughter of Angela Smith, and Danny Fairley Jr. Your president, Christopher Bond, senior business administration major out of Harvey, Illinois. He's the son of Kareem Bond and Kenya Bond. And now, introducing the 2021-2022 Royal Cooper, Miss Freshman, Ashanti Daly, a social work major from Tunica, Mississippi. She's the daughter of Annie and McKinley Daly. Mr. Freshman, Mr. Montez Dillard, business administration major from today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team. One value. In motion.
Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. Today, join the MVSU National Alumni Put it on the side, roll it up on your arm, put it on the side. Same thing, you're going to stop it, put it on the side, 
Put it right there as well. Put it on the sidewalk or put it like right You're the line.
The main green launcher machines on direction of Mr. Devonon Fitzgerald, acting director of bands, Mrs. Stefan Mathis, band assistant, Mrs. Fubi Ford, same doll director, Mr. Gerald Smith Jr., Valley Ages Clouds director, Dr. Gerald Briggs, president, I am Desmond Smith. Five thousand by twenty twenty five. Text MVSU alum to seven two seven two seven or visit us online at MVSUNAA.org. Five thousand active alumni by two thousand and twenty five. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team, one value, in motion. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. Sally at Medicine. Also at this time, we would like to thank for your support and cooperation. And Jesse welcome Lawson, back, getting set for the second half to open it here. And Dallas State will receive the football. The Eagles with the kick from left to right. Taken at the eight yard line to the 10. 15, Johnson stumbles at the 25, 30. 35 out of bounds at the 36 yard line. Good move that time to bring the football up to the 35 yard line on the tackle to run him down. Finally was uh, Trayvon Wallace. Wallace was able to get there and bring him down, but pretty good field position, Josh, for Valley State. You talk about momentum. We saw it there. Took the football back at the six or eight yard line and wrestled and ran and fought and get it out to the 36 yard line and Dexter Valley State will start this drive. Surprising score, Josh, you got for us? You talked about. Yes, uh, Al I mean, uh, Gramlin 24, Alabama A&M 14. First team, 10 for Valley State, motion by Rankin, quick pitch, poor side. Jerry's Clayton takes it, trying to get to the outside. He picked up three before he's rolled out of bound over on the first side of the field. Jerry Clayton on the reception pass. And over on eight. the tackle was Jacqueline to bring him down. And a pickup of, well, matter of fact, no gain on the play, you're going to call it. I thought he picked up two, but no gain on the play. 10 10 score here. There you go. I thought I saw two yards pick up on the play. There's a second down and eight. Second and eight from the 38. Off Valley State. Right hash. Quick snap. Left side. Hand off. Caleb Johnson. Johnson up to the 30, make it the 45, Caleb just over the 45 yard line. A little shy of the first down marker. And Johnson perhaps was the best run of the day. They kind of had him in check, Josh, most yeah. of the day. Yeah, that's his best run of the day. And got to stay quick to the line of scrimmage. I don't see any flags. No, no the uh, change is all messed up. They moved the chain, took okay. off for the first down. Okay, no, it's the second down. Second down and about right. a yard to go, second but we down, call it a yard. Down. Actually, a little bit less than a yard, but we call it a yard. Second down. Third down. Correction, I'm sorry. Third down and uh, one yard to go. He was a second eight. Now third and one. Caleb Johnson fights forward, and he, Joshua, he's going to be short of the first down. Going to be short. Now, the, yep. if the ball is where, where they, they're going to move the ball back. Yeah. It will be no gain on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down and about a yard to go. Valley State, will they go for it here from their own 45-yard line? Yes, Is the indeed. question. <coughs> With 13 minutes and 39 seconds to play. Shotgun formation through his receiver's left. Eastern with the hard count. Caleb Johnson behind him. Are they going to go for it? Play clock is down to eight. Are they going to go for it? Three receivers left, 45-yard line for Valley State. He didn't go for the hard count. Here's the snap. And Easton keeps it, it for the first down at midfield into the 49-yard line. Easton kept that one, and he was brought down on the play by Chuck Manning. Just to try to fool him at first. They didn't go for it. Easton with the snap from the shotgun, moved it across the 50 to the 48-yard line of the Eagles. Valley State first down in 10, 10-10 score, 12-37 to play. In the third quarter, left hash, action flows from left to right. First and 10 from the 48-yard line. Easton takes the snap. Easton sets up. Slings one down the left side. Clayton with the catch at the 30-yard line. Before he's bumped out of bounds on the near side by Manny Smith. Outstanding kid. And Josh, that time he left his feet to go up and get that one. Came down with one foot in bound. Yes, he the chain for Valley State down to the 29-yard line of the Eagles. First and 10 from that point. Left hash through receiver. Short side left. Wide side open. Here's the handoff to Caleb Johnson. Two hands on the ball for, for a powers forward, rather, down to the 25-yard line. Picks up about 
Five yards on the play. Second down and five from the 30, they'll call it. Left hash. Three receivers to that direction. Wide side open. This time, Caleb Johnson will get on the left side. Time out. And there's going to be a time out on the field. Or apparently, they want to talk about this. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lesson. Jerry Garner on the stop for Mississippi Valley. No game, second and team. Oh, 
Martin on the carry, met by a host of Delta Devils. Gain of two, third and eight. Incomplete pass, but there is a marker. Consistent ground is offense number 11. Smart foul, marker down. Should be fourth down. First and ten, Mississippi Valley. And the Eagle 46. To the flag, though. To Travis Murphy, and there's a flag on the player. Apparently, it is going to be against. Mississippi Valley. Yeah, they walking backwards. 10 10 score. 6 40 left to play. Out for the play. Personal foul, unnecessary interruption against the offense, number 22. Mm. It's still 15 yard penalty. Third down. Wow. Personal foul against Valley State. Boy, that's a big one there, huh? Against mm. uh, the Darian Williams. The Darian Williams with the personal foul. You're right, Josh, going to bag us way back. Yes. To our own 40-yard line. Right. 10-10 school. We need a big play here, though. Update on the score. Gramlin, 31. Uh, Alabama, A&M, 14. And A&M took a 14 nothing lead in the ball game. Yes. Wow. 31 unanswered points by the Gramlin Tigers. Third down and very long here. Third down and about 25 yards to go for Valley State from their own 40-yard line. Here's a snap back to Easton. Throws it underneath. And the catch made by Donald Johnson. But so the tackle as he caught that football immediately. He was immediately hit by Noah Rainbow Douglas. And Valley State will come on and pump this football away. Coming on the punter is Orlando Fernandez. He'll be standing back inside his 25-yard line. 
to put on this one away. Double receivers, well, no receivers. <laughs> they were in that spot, however. Standing back deep to return the kick is Cordington. He takes it at the 12, slips down, but not to his knee, to his one hand. He comes back up field, 30, 35, 40. Finally caught, and boy, it's hard to bring down. Mm. He ran right into Dollar and Wetters. Yep. Offensive of lineman, 6'6", 310, Josh, and he couldn't get him on the ground. No, he couldn't. Boy, he's, and then had about four or five around him. They'd wrestle and wrestle. Finally called to play dead, but boy, he's strong. Yes, indeed. He was determined. Now, the Eagles will get the football, and they'll try to move, and that's taking Valley State defense still hold up here. Oh, they done flipped the field on us. Yeah. He goes with the football. North Carolina Central, Durham, North Carolina, first and 10 for them from their own 44-yard line. Riches, two receivers right and two left. Riches, box the count, uh, takes the snap, hands it off, and he's going to be hit. Oh, it's a loss on the play. Good defense that time by Valley State. Excellent to bring down defense. Isaiah Totten on the hit. About a two. 99, yard loss on the play. Second down and 12 from the 42 yard line. Ball is on the right hand. Two receivers right, two left. Play clock is at 16, no issue there. Richards with the one back set on his right side. Drops the pass, swing the pass out to Totten. Flags on the play. Totten still fighting, fights forward. Some positive yards on the play. They had to get a hold on him, but didn't bring him down was Mikhail mm -hmm. Galatny. And this might work against the Eagles. We'll see they're gonna right. talk about it over on the fourth side. Four minutes, 59 seconds to play. Whatever it is, it's in Mississippi Valley because they talking to uh, Eagles coach. Wow. Offside. Offside. Number 44. Offside, Valley State. Three down. They're going to push the ball up the field. Not enough of the first down. It's going to be spotted down there at the 47 and a half yard line. Second down in about six. Second and six from the 47. Five receivers set, make it backfield. Three receivers left, two right. Play clock is down to 10. Richard stomps his foot. Drops the pass. No, he's gonna keep it. And he's gonna be hit and brought down at the line of scrimmage. both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion.
Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change. to Devil 30. Dion Reed on the stop, five yard loss for the Eagles. It will be fourth down, fourth and 14. It's up, gonna take uh, North Carolina Central Road back inside the five yard line. Gonna wow. mark him out at the two yard line. Wow. One minute, 56 seconds left to play. Valley State. And Josh, in a case like this, in the not third quarter. In the th thank you, thank you. In the third quarter. In a case like this, you know, the ball is back at your two-yard line. Score is tied up at 10, 10, a minute, 56 seconds to play. Of course, you want to move the football. Right. But you got to be top of mind, conscious, yeah, to be conscious, not to turn it over. Right. And Dallas State going to walk the offense out. First and 10 from their own two-yard line. Right hash, action flows from right to left. 10, 10, score. Easton is into the shotgun with Caleb Johnson on his left side. Wow. And there's a flag on the play. False start. False start on Valley State. That'll push it back to the one yard line. First down and 11 yards to go. Ball is back on the one left hash. Easton with Johnson on his left side. Two receivers in that same direction left. Takes it. Easton keeps it. He runs out. Easton gets back to about the original line of scrimmage. Put down a good move to at least get back to the line of scrimmage. Right. There on the stop was Chuck Manning. Manning was on the hit. Second down, he might, have, he might have picked up two. Second down and nine. Ball is right between the hash marks. Second and nine from the three. Hands it off to Caleb Johnson. He fights forward up to near the 10 yard line. And he'll bring me third down and two from about the 10 yard line. Third down and three. Short two, long three, yep. short two, two yards. Right, One, two yards. Two, 32 from the 10. Takes the snap. Easton keeps it. 
Has it pushed down as it yeah. crosses the 15-yard line to the 16-yard line. So good so far just now, you're not right in your backyard. Right. And uh, you can tell that they're conscious of not having that ball knocked out. They're putting both hands on it, running that ball, and holding it real tight. Yes. First and 10 for Valley. 10-10 score. 37 seconds to play. Valley State, two receivers left, one right. Back is Caleb Johnson, who gets the call. Johnson up the middle, 35-yard line before he's hauled down on the plate. Johnson, not very successful in the first half. They had his number, but second half, he's working really hard here. Yes, he's working hard. And Cole Williams on the stop. He picked up seven, close to eight yards on the play. We call it second down and three. Second and three from the 24-yard line. And this third quarter will come to a close, and we have one quarter left. Valley State, 10. And North Carolina, 10. We'll break, we'll come back. This is Valley Football on G Wood Live. Today, join the and welcome back for the fourth and final quarter of play here at Rice Titan Stadium. Holmes coming, Sco no scores in the third quarter. Better State attempted a field goal, had it blocked. Score still remains 10 10. And they have exchanged directions here. Valley State the football, second and about three. Easton quick pitch right side, Rankins. Rankins turns up, first down for Rankins as it gets to the, uh, near the 30-yard line. They'll mark him out at the 29-yard line, first and 10 for Valley State. Well, Josh, this, this is the good part of the ball game. It has to be decided, uh, will be decided, perhaps in the fourth quarter. Right. Whatever's in, you got to come out now. 10-10 score. One alignment just went down. For Valley State, looks like he's sitting up there looking at, holding his, we're giving some attention to his left knee, left leg. Not yeah, exactly look, sure. Look like the left knee. And that is uh, Mario Underwood. He is 6'3", 300-pound sophomore from Sugar Hill, Georgia. I'll tell you one thing. Battle State is not lacking, lacking beef, Josh. Not no, lacking no. size. Got no, plenty of size here. Got up. plenty of size. And Coach Todd and the other coaches are beckoning over the offense opportunity to talk about what's going on here as Rankin made that good catch out of the backfield to move the football forward. He's dragging that leg. Yeah. And Josh had a brace on it, so right. perhaps something. He has a brace on both sides. Right. Hope you'll be all right. Right. First 10 10 for the Delta Devils. 14 49 to play. 10 10 score. Ball is in Valley's territory at its own 29-yard line, right, ha right hash. Rankin was spelled out wide right. And wide left is at Murphy for Valley State. Motion from left to right by Porter. He just snap back, quick pitch downfield. is going to be batted down. Tried to go to Rankin downfield, but that corner right there got, up, got his hands up there, Cole Williams, and that, that knocked that ball down. So that's going to bring up a second down in 10 for Valley State from their own 29-yard line. 
Ball is on the right hand. Rankin split wide right. Murphy up top left. And closer to the line of scrimmage as the receiver is Jerry's Clayton. Valley State will send out three receivers. There's a snap. Here's an underhand pitch right side. Caleb Johnson. He's brought down. And the ball's going to come out. Let's see. And I believe it's going to be fumbled. Nose out of bounds. Or did Valley State? I think Valley State might have recovered or wasn't recovered out of bounds. I think, uh, uh, it, I think he went out of bounds. I don't know. Yeah. What happened here, it was covered by North Carolina Central, but apparently it was out of bounds. Let's see. They're going to wind the clock. It was a live ball. He's going to lose some yards on it. It's going to bring me third down and about 13 yards to go. A ball that's back at the 28-yard line. And Valley needs to get to the 40, 39-yard line to pick up enough of the first down with 14 minutes to play. Score tied at 10-10. Two receivers left. Motion by Rankins from right to left. He's going to be followed over by the corner of Kearney in time. And quick pitch for a side. And let's see. Did Rankin make the catch? He did make the catch. But there's a flag back at the 20-yard line. Let's see what happened on that. And you're listening to Valley State Football on G Live Radio. You can hear it online at www.gwillive.com. Also, you can listen to my phone by simply dialing 641-741-0818. And also, you can download the free G Live app. Delivery shift. And how? What happened then was he actually took the ball from the defensive back yeah. and came down with it. Yeah. yeah. He it was did. an outstanding play yeah. in, 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 on his point. Ranking. Yeah. Who pulled that ball in. And I'd like to thank also Supervisor N1 Brown for his support of this broadcast. Also, Mr. Andrew McQueen, thank you for your support of this broadcast. Third down, and about 18 yards to go for Valley State. The ball is back at the Valley's 22-yard line. Third and 18, Valley needs to get to their own 39-yard line uh, more to keep this drive alive. A three-receiver set. Eason takes it, goes to Rankins. Rankins trying to get to the outside. He turns it up, fights forward. He's going to be short of about five or six yards as he gets up to the 35-yard line and needed the 39-yard line. Good effort, but will not get to the first down marker. Therefore, Valley State will come on and pump this football away. 10-10 score here with 12.54 to play in the fourth quarter. Holmes coming here on the campus of Valley State. Josh Dibby of all night right now. Yeah. Scores from around the swag. 14-58 to play fourth quarter. Grambling State, 31. Alabama a and 14. Texas Southern Bowl still putting the points. 69 nothing over North American University. We you see a 10-10 score here. Earlier it was Ladies South Carolina defeating Bethune Cookman 42 to 35. In the first rack ball game of the week, it was Prairie View A&M 27 and Arkansas Pine Bluff 17. Swag scores from coming around the swag. Jackson State is off. And also off is Alcorn. Got a five yard penalty for uh, illegal substitution. Okay, thank you. Got a second on punt here. There's the snap back. Kick is up. Nice kick. Spouting all the way. Standing kick. And the return man going to take it at the 20. Stumbles at the 25. Cuts to the 30, 35 on his feet. Brought down in Valley's territory at the 45 yard line. And there's a flag on the play down here at the 27 yard line. Good run back, but let's see what's going to take place here. And Josh, usually this is against the return team. Oh, yeah, yeah, every time. Every time. You see everybody coming back. They know it, Josh. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, he ain't about to move him back. Yeah, this is still a, a swack react matchup. Valley State next week on the road against Bethune Cookman. That's a long ways away. I, I, I was reading their, their report and game notes, and the game notes say they flew in here. But I see some buses here, a lot of buses here from yep. North Carolina a and Maybe they changed their, their mind about flying. Maybe they were using it metaphorically as, because they're Eagles. First down and 10 for the Eagles of North Carolina Central University from Durham, North Carolina. First down and 10 for them. 10-10 score when they're operating from their own 20-yard line. Here's Daniels, been the quarterback all day. Two receivers left and one right. Here's a pitch going to the right side. Running up is Jordan Freeman, and he's going to be hit and stop. No gain on the play at all. Good defense by Mrs. Timmy Valley State Josh. He wanted to get to the edge right. and turn it up, but he could not. No, he couldn't get that outstanding defense. Michael Gladden is over there. They, they, they seal that edge off. And it's going to be a second down. Might have gained a half a yard. Second and 10, we'll call it, from the 20. Ball is just inside the hash mark. The white suited Eagles. Daniels, get Richard claps his hand, pump fakes, goes on the knee, incomplete to the 25 yard line. And to the target on the right incomplete. side. To bring up third down. Steve Bentley. He's a third down possession play for the Eagles. Can Valley State defense a hole here with 11 22 to play? Fourth quarter, 10 10 score. Two receivers are left, two receivers are right. And that back is in the backfield. That's Jordan Freeman with the quarterback. Richard claps his hand, adjusts his face mask, pointing to the line of scrimmage, still pointing. Now he takes the snap, drops the throw, looking down the middle, steps up and throws it just to get rid of it. He's going to fall incomplete and come, here comes the punt team back there for Valley State. I believe that was Deion Reed, or Deion Reed and you know, flying press Josh on defense. All day long. Matter of fact, all season long. Yes, all defense season long. Out. Yes, yes, he had. Got to like the defense. Coming to the football field for Valley State, though, is Jordan Bell. And Bell seems to be somewhere shaking up as you come up. Looks a lot like yeah. Maybe he wind it, Josh, you think? Probably wind it. I like to hope, hope that's all. And on the kick the football away, the Eagles. Here's Clayton. High kick, tumbles in over and in. Clayton adjusts, gets under it, and makes the catch at the 38-yard line. And Valley State will start this drive. First and 10 from their own 38-yard line. 10-10 score here at Rice Tarn Stadium. Stadium. I'm sure a lot of good eating is taking place out there on, on the campus. A lot of reminiscent Josh out there. Yes, indeed. Folks coming back and saying some familiar places they used right. to hang out here. Folks forming allegiance to their university that they never let go. Always, yes. always, they'll take their university wherever wherever they go in life. Yes, classmates meeting, they hadn't saw each other and since last year this time. First down and 10 for Valley State from their own 32-yard line, 10-10 score with 11.09 to play. Left hash, two receivers right, motion from the receiver from left. Rankin gets it on the run. It turns back up, stumbles forward. He'll get to about the 41-yard line, and there he'll be wrestled down on the tackle. To stop him was uh, Stephen Stokes, a 5'11", 170-pound red shirt senior from Baltimore, Maryland, Parkville High School. And he picked up three yards on the play, second down and seven. Second and seven from the 41-yard line, 10-10 score. As Johnny Eason will send rankings wide left, two receivers wide right. Eason blocks the count, takes the snap into the belly of Williams. He'll fall forward to the 40. Five, but they'll mark him down at the 44. And we have a third and three. Matter of fact, it's a third and 
Three, yeah. Third down, three yards to go from the 44-yard line. And this time, up the field, spins. And he has enough of the first down on that carry. Yes, does indeed. Darian Williams. Williams going a little bit more here. The official got to step in there. Got to kind of cool down Manning Smith, the defensive back there. Keep, keep the conversation going, if nothing else. The official step right in and said, no, let's keep it clean here. Good call on that. Yes. First and 10 for Valley State. Operating from uh, their own 48-yard line. 10-10 score. Rankins and Clayton, the top receivers. Long receiver near side for Valley is uh, Wagner. Yeah, keep this on the ground, running across midfield, down to the 48-yard line. Good, strong run to pick up some, some positive yards on the play yes. by the Darian Williams. In the game also, Valley State. Ranking up top, two receivers again, right side. A three receiver set, pistol formation. And this time, Easton will keep it. He turns up, not a lot of yards on that. He didn't get anything on that. He faked no, it, he did. pulled it back, kept it, but he was stopped. And coming down to stop him was Jay Taylor. 61274 red straight freshman from Durham, North Carolina, getting some playing time transfer from Mercer University. Third down and five. Ball is at the 47 yard line of the Eagles. 10 10 score. 8 27 to play. Motion by rankings from right to left. Going to overload the left side, which is the wide side. Drops the pass, looking. He has a pocket for a moment. And he's going to lose that in some yards as well. Back upfield, across midfield to about the 48 yard line. Going to sack him back there. And there will be be fourth down. No discussion on going for it here. You got to still get that kicking team on. Come on, the pump this football. It's Fernandez. You come on, pump this football away. Back deep to his seat. It looks like Brandon Currington. Or uh, Cardington, rather. Cardington going to step back inside his. He's going to step back inside the field. Yeah. 
Second down by Montel Bradley. Second down, second and two. SU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. 
breakthrough, and instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to. One goal. One team. One value. In motion. Be sure to catch The V Show, hosted by Patrick Austin, premiering Friday, September 24th on Facebook and YouTube. Sponsored by The V Club, the official fundraising arm for MVSU Athletics. Be the catalyst for change.